What's up, everybody? Welcome to The Last Days of Warcast. We are Southern California-based band, The Last Days of War. My name is Mark. I'm the pit boss. Danny. Beats and beats. Hey, we're The Last Days of War. You guys, first on the agenda. Shots. Shots. Everybody, if you got them, drink them. If not, serve yourself one real quick. Cheers. Cheers. To our first show this past Saturday. Uh, woo! So we played our first show, gentlemen. Thoughts? Thoughts and prayers? Just kidding. <laughs> uh, thoughts and prayers. Uh, I think it was good. I had yeah. fun. Yeah, man. It was yeah. a long day for us. It's a long day. Because uh, Danny cause, ran uh, sound. Yeah, we did sound for the event as well. So it was uh, it's a long day. What time did you get out of there? I got home almost at 3 a.m. It was almost 3 when I got home. I think it was about 3, so probably 2.30 I got out of there. Yeah. It took about a half an hour to get home. But. By the time we left the studio and I made it back home, it was about 2.30. Yeah. So, <laughs> sounds about right. Yeah. That was a long day. I worked that morning, too, so I was ready to pass the fuck out. Like, I didn't even want to eat, but I had uh, to eat something, and then my kids woke up early as shit. Yeah. Bro, I woke up so fucking sore the next day, dude. <laughs> I was just like cramping. I woke up, I was like, oh fuck. I'm not <laughs> sure. Like, I'm not sure if it was from the actual playing or the running around and setting up. But yeah, my legs, my legs feel. Yeah, like while well, we were fucking running cables under the stage, if me, you, and Rob slid the stage over about a foot and a half, the whole fucking stage. <laughs> so like, <laughs> uh, yeah. Trying to play Ghostbusters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the power strip. The power strip. The we tried to stage. Ghostbuster it. Did not work. <laughs> It went yeah. like a foot. No, stopped. it didn't work because you crossed the streams. We crossed the streams. Never <laughs> crossed the streams. Never crossed the streams, bro. Yeah, man. Uh, uh, Betwixt the Stars fucking killed it, Josh. Your other band, they you guys yeah, that fucking. That was fun playing two sets. Yeah. How, how do you how do you feel, bro? <laughs> other than tired, it was a lot of fun. Like if I did not have to work that day, it would have been a lot better. But going straight from getting up in the morning, going to work at nine thirty, getting out at three thirty, three forty. Heading straight Packing home, up your loading up everything, and then getting into the bar by like 5.30. And then we set everything up quickly, and we had like a couple hours to chill. But with the nerves and being antsy, like my legs were already hurting that the minute I sat down, I'm going to be done. And we hadn't even started playing yet. It's like, shit, well, it's a good thing the hard band is the first band. because <laughs> it, We would have went opposite. I don't know. My legs would have went a little fucking gumby towards the end of the <laughs> night, probably. Yeah. But it was fun. I had a lot of fun doing that. Yeah, man. What about you, Rob? Gun? What's your thoughts on the night? Oh, it was good. Good. Seeing a lot of familiar faces, a lot of people that have never got to see me perform before and see us with the project, you know, like uh, my kids were always too young to see it and now they're old enough to be there. So it was like, awesome. oh, hey, we're there actually to see this. So that was a good, yeah. good experience for that, you know, having family there and and all the friends of old, you know, old past band members. For sure yeah, we had up. some friends there. Like, we ran into a friend just a few weeks before that that mm -hmm. we hadn't seen in a long time. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Dave. Yeah, little Dave. Uh, we ran into him there one night, and then we were like, hey, we have a show. And then he shows up, and it's like, man, like, it's so crazy to see somebody enter back in your life because of this project. It's yeah. fun. Yeah, it's cool. I like it. So, you know, it being our first show, I wasn't really sure, you know, you the turnout, right? The fucking place was packed, dude. And it was, that was, I did, I would have been happy with half of the crowd there. That was, that was fucking awesome that it was packed and everybody was just fucking hooked and into it and just fucking jamming with us. And it was just a great feeling, man. I don't know cool. a single song that I didn't see somebody singing along. Which was really Which fucking really cool, to, cool see. to see. Yeah. I mean, for our first show, seeing that. And that's one thing that's cool about TikTok, social media and stuff is like a band could do that. I mean, yeah. that was our first show and we had people, people there singing, along. singing along and it was not like we had people that said they came from Instagram and TikTok that we've never met before. Yeah. And it's not like they were friends of ours that were listening to it. You know what I'm saying? Like these Is are that, people who came there and for our first they show. They were there for us, which was fucking cool as shit to see. I think man. it's a good sign. Yeah, man, definitely. Yeah. yeah. There was a moment during Remain Untamed where when I looked and I realized like how many people were singing along and I almost stopped singing because I was just like, oh. That's fucking cool. Like, I got a little emotional, you know? I was like, oh, that's... I've been waiting for a long time for that shit to happen, you know? <laughs> like, yeah. You know, so it's been fucking, like, four years for me since I've touched the stage. So, and I know it's been way longer for you. So, you it's know, just to, to finally be up there again. Uh, yeah. 
I honestly, there was a point in my life a few years back where I didn't think I would ever be able to do this again. I was in a lot of pain, walking with a cane. I could barely fucking lay down. Like I was in a lot of pain with my lower back. I had some spinal surgery done. Yeah. So to be able to- That last part didn't rhyme. So (laughs) So, (laughs) I was with you on the rhyming part and then you threw it off the You eat pieces of shit for breakfast? (laughs) Like, no, like it's spinal, spinal, it's <laughs> fucking my back, spinal. But uh, you know, I'm not trying to get too fucking uh, sappy here. But it was just one of those things where I'm really happy that I got to share stage with you guys. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. and plenty more to come, and I can't fucking wait. And we're just gonna get better and better, man. I, you know, I think we did great. Uh, it was a good turnout, and I had a lot of fun. And I think, I mean, like you say, like you know, I don't want to toot my own horn or anything like that but like i don't know i I know that a lot of bands struggle with you know bringing people in and uh you know getting any money coming in from a show instead of paying Mm. so to be a band it's their first show we had people show up we made uh nice money change yeah we made a let's just say we made enough money to take care of our merch for live shows yeah for the next show (laughs) for yeah which by the way november 25th also at Goodfellas, we'll be playing with Assuming We Survive, and a few, I can't even think of the other bands right now, sorry. But there's a few other ones, but we'll be playing with Assuming We Survive on November 25th. Uh, Knights Like Thieves? Knives Like Thieves, yes. Um, and then like Fishing for Chips, I think, is mm-hmm. the other band. Yeah. And, and playing... Victory Kid. Victory Kid. That's, yep, that's, that's all the one. It was, yep. I was sitting there going, that's there's the one. another yeah. one. Um, yeah, so... And then there's one more opening. The Last Days of War? There you go. There you go. Yeah, I, <laughs> I was like, like what? I was like, what? Yeah, so if you guys could make it out, Rancho Cucamonga, California, Goodfellas, November 25th, 25th, man. It's going to be awesome. Uh, Starts at 7 p.m. Yeah, it starts early as shit, and we go on first, so get there early. Yeah. So what time are we going on? 7.30? Probably 8, dude. 8? Okay. Yeah, I don't know. That's good. Yeah. I'm good with that. Get there at 7. Get there at 7, 6.45, if you're nasty. But uh, (laughs) If you're nasty. (laughs) What does that have to do with it? I mean, only if nasty. Nasty. only if you're nasty. <laughs> that's that's what time the nasty people show up. They get there 15 minutes before the normal people. I've looked down four different times, and each time there's a new fucking tootsie roll in front of me. Yeah, I get tootsie rolls. <laughs> <laughs> so do you want to do you want to tell why you got tootsie rolls in front of you? So I started a debate apparently on TikTok and fucking quite a few different places on our social media is. Uh, Apparently, me not liking Tootsie Rolls was a really fucking hot take because a lot of people had some shit to say. <laughs> yeah. And then I threw you under the bus because at the show, I literally saw him eating a Tootsie Roll and he was like, oh, fucking hungry. And it looked like he enjoyed it. Bro, we so been, I threw him under the bus. We had been there all fucking day and Rob just thought it was hilarious to bring me every Tootsie Roll in the candy bowl <laughs> that he could find. <laughs> He's like, here, Mark, fucking throws me a bunch there. And sure enough, I fucking... I chucked them down. Dude. And I was so it begins. So That's going to be on our bro. fucking rider. Was this before the tacos? It was after. It was after we played. It was All like right. right. Actually, it was right before uh, the bar closed. We were going to start breaking down. And I was like, I'm fucking hungry, dude. Did you ate some Tootsie Rolls? By the way, your talk, the taco guy there mm. lied and said that that there salsa was Here not hot, bro. Oh. Bro. He For a dying. split second, dude, I was seeing stars, dude. That's how fucking hot that shit was. Dude. I had to tell him to take a bite of the lime. Yeah, he was like, he bite was the like, lime. Oh, I was like, oh, fuck, just bite the lime, bro. I was like, was, I, I never, was tears. I didn't even know that that was a thing. It fucking helped so much. I was like, yeah. fuck, dude. That shit was killing me, dude. Those, they were delicious, but holy shit, dude. That fucking never again, man. I was I'm like, glad, <laughs> I'm glad you made it through the set, bro. Yeah. I was worried about that when you started telling me they were spicy. And we, and we have to play in 20 minutes. And you just ate those spicy tacos. <laughs> yeah, I was like, fuck. Holy shit. This is He's going to be, be screaming and hitting those high notes for a different a, reason. That was definitely a gamble. Woo! That was a gamble that uh, I'm glad didn't go south. I didn't take I mean? the gamble, dude. Didn't take the gamble? I, I ate like a Subway sandwich like be- right before you came over, and then I didn't eat for the rest of the day because I was like, if anything that I put in after that is probably going to come out. Yeah. I don't know what it is when, I, when, when I'm doing a live show. It's not so much like, it's not so much nervous, it's more anxious, you know? So I, I get like, I've never like vomited, but I always feel like. Yeah. Yeah. I feel so, that. Yeah. Yeah. There was a. 
Bro, you're so serious right now. I can't fucking take you <laughs> serious, dude. I just, it's crazy because you see show. these. It's a great you show. see teeth, good and then you see out. teeth, and there's a lot of teeth yeah. going on there. You guys, let us yeah. know if Rob should wear this every show. Fuck no. I'm trying to get him to do it. Hey, man. This is my one last appearance. I wore a coat that lasted not even half a song. Lasted the seconds. first verse. Half, the first verse. Not even a full verse. <laughs> I fucking took that shit off so quick, dude. And Josh is over there drumming with the Joker mask, yeah. just fucking sweating away, dude. I was like, holy shit, man. I gave you two songs. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't do it. Like, I, it just was... slid down, and I could not see. One so. point towards the end, I felt like I, I was sweating. I felt like I just got a shower, and I looked over at Dustin, and he looked like he just got out of the shower. And I was like, well, fuck, at least I'm not the only one up here sweating bullets. And he know? had that fucking coat on, dude, that he couldn't yeah. take off because he was playing the whole time. Yeah. I was like, fuck, dude. Yeah. Well, I think he put it on because his shirt had the skeleton thing. So I think he looked like one of the security guys. Yeah. <laughs> so I think he felt like he wanted to keep his jacket on. Yeah, but it was dude. hot. So, yeah. yeah. By the way, Dustin, you member of the band. He'll probably be on the show eventually. It's up to him. But uh, yeah, man, we're happy to have you aboard, brother. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. So what are we doing? Fucking Britney Spears. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that is not the way that came out. Right back. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Interception. Interception. So uh, Britney Spears put out a uh, memoir. memoir. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing Britney Spears right now. Folks. And apparently she uh, she dropped a couple uh, bombshells in it. Couple you know, bombshell dudes. Got a few things, and uh, so I think that her juggling knives was a great publicity stunt to get people to talk about her before her book came out. Yeah, and if that's the case, that's fucking awesome, dude. Whatever you gotta yeah. do. But go ahead, continue. Well, uh, I guess uh, you're. I guess I, I wanted to ask you how you're feeling about because uh, I hear that she dropped a couple bombshells, and now I hear that Justin Timberlake may have canceled. Some shows, a tour, and a bunch of stuff. He and shut off his, all of his fucking comments, uh, on social his media. comments on social media. I mean, there was a remark. I, I heard like a week or two ago, there was a remark that came out that it, it felt like, you know, he had a somebody involved that was saying, hey, you, you got to put a statement out before this happens and then it's damage control and, you know, yeah. that type of thing. But I heard that he put out a statement kind of like two weeks ago about like, you know, growing and learning and experiencing life and we're here and then this comes out and you're like, you know, I think that's why he was like, Hey guys, in sync's back. <laughs> He's like, don't worry about this shit. In sync's back, dude. Don't worry about <laughs> Justin Timberlake. Look over here. Look over here. Sync's back. Breaks my heart, bro. Breaks my heart, dude. JT. Cry me a thought, river. I thought you were better than that, dog. Cry me, Cry me a river. river. <laughs> Cry me a river. <laughs> yeah. Bumps me out, man. Trolls 2, you know, Trolls 3, whatever the fucking Trolls movie was. <laughs> You were you think, all about that a couple weeks ago. Though. Hey, man. I thought about it, dude. You know? <laughs> that you're a grown-ass man. Oh, a grown-ass man? Grown-ass man watching a movie for little kids, and you're just... Ooh. I got kids, bro. I got to watch kid movies. Yeah, but you're in it for the boy band reason. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah. Uh, so what did you what did you think about some of the things that were in there, like as far as uh, like in her what is it a conservatorship where uh, she claimed that you know she had a device that you know for pregnancy and she couldn't have it removed and stuff like that. And she, I heard a, she put in there that you know she took a group of people out for dinner that was involved at a performance that she was doing or a tour or whatever, and that uh, her card was declined for two thousand dollars because she didn't have the money. You know. What? Me too. And I've had that same button. fucking problem. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but you're not selling 900,000 tickets. I know. Vegas. That's like, what makes it even shit. more. Is that all? Like, does that all have to do with like her dad and stuff, right? I believe, I believe so, that yeah. that's Holding like shit? dad yeah. and management company. Uh, it's, it's all of that. It's all of those people that were involved. Um, you know, all, all jokes aside, I feel like she's lived a really fucking hard life, dude. You know? Just fucking, it's uh, yeah. Oh, it's not on the TV anymore. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Danny's trying to talk with his eyes over here. I'll just say it. <laughs> but yeah, no. Uh, I just, I just feel like 
you know, everybody's really quick to fucking laugh and point at a celebrity, right? You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, she's clearly been through some shit, and I just hope she's all right, man. Well, there was fucking... <laughs> Lance Bass. Was it Lance Bass came out and did a statement? Go. I heard something along the lines that he said that, like, Britney forgave him at some point, so something along that. those lines. And I'm like, mm-hmm. so I'm just going to stay out of that one. Absolutely not. <laughs> somebody said, absolutely somebody said we need not. to cover Baby One More Time. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Rob's like, no. No, absolutely uh, not. But Rob, I think I think there's been a few heavy bands that have done that, right? If that we're gonna do it, covered? it's gonna be uh, was it Work Bitch? I get the Work the, Bitch. Do, 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 do. Uh, the, it's Britney Bitch. No. Oh, Is that a Britney song? It's a Britney song. Work Bitch. Work uh, Bitch. See, you're, uh, I, I feel know. like we're finding out you're a Britney fan right now, dude. You know what no, I mean? No, I just... Well, we've got... Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. I I know know how do you guys saying. feel sitting next to each other? Because, you know, <sighs> your boy and, you know, Britney, like, what's up? Know, how you guys doing? Is there I tension here? Oh, I mean... I must confess. They've kind of kept her quiet and under wraps. And like, <laughs> okay, now say what you want to say. What do you, what do you want to say? You got the floor. We know you know how to spin in circles. <laughs> Juggle knives, cool. Uh, what do you want to say? And it's just like, boop. There you go. I got your attention now. I got a question for you. You're both wrestling people. Alrighty. Who do you think would win in a wrestling match between Brittany and Jessica Biel? I think Brittany's got it, dude. She got the knives. She got the no, knives. No, no weapons. <laughs> I'm not going cage match. But you know what? It's Brittany, bitch. So, right? I think I feel like Brittany's. You put that song on and she can't lose. She's right? lived. She's lived a hell of a life. She's got that callus on her, dude. You know what I mean? She's ready. What to are throw you down. going to like till they tap? We talking boxing street or are we talking like no, straight, street, match? Street, street, street no street weapons, rules? but we'll go UFC. Blood sport. I would say Britney would win by like a, a heel move, like she, a low blow or with a chair shot or something like that. A chair like shot. that's that's something that Britney would do is pull out like a a flippy chair thing. I don't know, a pair of clippers or something. I, I don't know. But juggling with knives. I don't know. It, whatever it be, but Brittany would do something dirty to win the match. But I feel like Jessica Beer would be like more athletic and doing more like the submission moves on her. And she think, you think she's more of a grappler? Wrestler, yeah, I grappler? feel like Jessica Beer would be like part of like the Hart family. You know, like I get that kind of vibe <clears throat> from her. Like more part of the Hart family. I was technical. I was looking at this more like the MMA world. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, like it's because I brought up wrestling. That, okay, sorry. Yeah, sorry. that's where my mind went. We I, I wanted I wanted full on like full fucking contact, yeah, let's do it. Full yeah. Contact. yeah, let's go. Top team, <laughs> Brittany versus Hasbullah, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. Dude, Hasbullah's in the his, new UFC five game, sure. dude. <laughs> Hasbullah's in the UFC five game, dude. He comes out with fucking what's his face that he always hangs out with on fucking Instagram. I gotta get it, bro. <laughs> I gotta get it just just so I can see Hasbullah walk out next side by I'm, side. I want to see it. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> Shout out to Hasbullah, dude. <laughs> I know he watches. <laughs> dude, what's going on? You have you have more fucking Tootsie Rolls there now. Bro, Where it's fucking shit. multiplying, man. <laughs> what's up? Throw them, throw one over there. <laughs> Don't touch down. Oh no. Oh, Fumble. by the way, Grumpy, that, Grumpy, and, and Joe, the one that one. suggested that. Fucking grumpy, grumpy. Next time you come out to Cali, bro, we gotta hang. He was in, he was in town, dude. Dang. But he was, he was hanging with his brother. He I had some shit to do. Grumpy court. But grumpy, we want to hang, bro. Grumpy. Next time you're, next time you're around. Um. So yeah, are 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 we still talking about Britney Spears here? What are we going on? What are we doing here? Um, I think this is a situation that uh, we're gonna be talking to you about often here and there about how it's going and how you're feeling. Yeah. You know, I think we're gonna check in on. Uh, See, that's, all, that's where the whole fucking, we've talked about this before, the whole fucking separating the artist from the fucking the art. music, from the art, you know? That's, that's, we'll see where that lies with Justin in a yeah. few years, you know? Uh, you know, I guess I guess I hope they die. Uh, wait, 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 but you, like you said, like the whole, you think they're just pushing NSYNC and not really saying his name <laughs> instead of pushing Justin Timberlake and just like, hey, bud, like you're still part of this. Project. Well, a lot of people were saying that the reason why he he did the NSYNC reunion was because, because of this. Well, because of that and the fact that like his past couple of albums didn't do very well and his movies aren't doing that well. 
Trolls and like, 3 didn't do that good? Uh, I mean, the Trolls movies do well all the time. But I'm talking about other stuff that he does. But apparently, the, the people are claiming he's got like, he's like, his career's down the drain. And I don't know if that's true enough or not, to be honest. Uh, Grumpy <laughs> says March needs to be a Tootsie Roll for Halloween. Oh, yes. Dude. Bro, we're gonna get you a, next Halloween. You gotta be a, you gotta play in a Tootsie Roll. I know costume. what they're fucking throwing in your bag every day. Crumpy Core just... needs this, dude. He needs this in his life. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna make this happen. Tootsie Roll costume. You're gonna turn me into a Tootsie Roll. We're gonna turn you a Tootsie Roll. All right, but I'm not painting my face because that could get bad, bro. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> We, I'm not trying to get cancer. We're gonna bro. make you one of the flavor ones. <laughs> okay, thank You're you. You're gonna be like, like. We're gonna paint your face white, like pastel blue, <laughs> like or like you know, yeah, one of those other flavors. You like know? the rapper. Oh shit! No, oh, the fucking rapper. The end's white. Just paint his face white. Hey, so uh, you mentioned to me that you saw uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. I did. I watched half of the movie because I'm a dad and I fall asleep halfway through. Which half? Uh, I fell asleep half. through the second half. Okay, so yeah. you missed. So I watched it first. Dude, imagine falling asleep to the first half and then waking up and just watching the rest of the movie. I don't even <laughs> know why I asked you that. I was, like, I was like, who does that, dude? <laughs> You've done it? Yeah, all the time. Does. Guilty. <laughs> I wake She'll up and I don't even know what we're watching. She'll watch the beginning and fall asleep and then she gets to the end. Yeah. And you're just kind of like, ah, I'm sorry. I tell you what, I liked it enough to where I want to finish watching it. There's time. Yeah, what I what I saw movie. was really cool. So I won't, my kids yeah, loved it. I won't. It's the credits. Movie. I've made it all the way to the credits. <laughs> I won't spoil it for you. Then I won't. You know, we won't go into too much. But uh, don't worry, guys. No spoilers. I hear that its budget was twenty million and it made a hundred and sixty million. So it's doing all right. So it's doing far. okay. Just so, so far. far. So far. Like, it's been a, any, a few days. We haven't even hit Halloween. And what's crazy is that that's In that that's point. just box office numbers, right? Right. It's on Peacock as well. So right. people aren't even going to the theaters to watch it either. Like, That's we the crazy it at home. part about it. We is, watched it right? at home. Yeah. Same here. We uh, didn't go to the theater. No we pants, dude. Peacock, you know what I mean? It's chill. Well, you could do that there, too. Yeah. You, <laughs> you can. can. It's not very long. Oh, that's the wrong type of theater, bro. <laughs> no, it isn't. Bro, ask Pee Wee Herman how that went, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> what happened? Oh, can't He's ask dead. him anymore. Oh, he is. He is dead. Mm. Speaking of which, Matthew Perry passed away. Yeah. Bro, that bummed me out, dude. I'm a huge Friends fan. I don't know if you guys are. Don't judge me. I love that show. And it really bummed me out. Rest in peace, Chandler, man. He's fucking... Yeah, man. That's, that's fucking... That bummed me out, dude. Yeah. I saw an interview he did. Like, it was his last interview. And he was saying that he didn't want to be remembered for Friends. He wanted to be remembered for um, fighting addiction. Yeah, he wanted for helping people and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, and I thought that was... I remember where I saw it. Somebody posted a comment of, no, he just wanted to get away from Janice for good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. yeah. I didn't mean to take away from the Five Nights, no, but it automatically no. went to... Uh, yeah, yeah, we started yeah. talking about it. You're but anyways, I, I enjoyed the movie. I want to I wanna finish watching it. Have you seen it? Mm -hmm. No? It's good. It's a good watch. It's yeah. Good. I was, like you said, how you were kind of surprised of some of, like, the death scenes... Yeah, it was. It's not that it's gruesome. No, but the implications there, and it's surprising for me for a kids movie. I'm like, oh wow, they yeah, fucking... like the, the implication. It doesn't show it, but it, it like you see like, see the, like shadow the shadow, and it's like of like ooh. somebody getting bit in half or something. Yeah, I'm like, like, oh wow, and like, the oh, kids fuck. were like, oh, and I'm yeah. like, wow, okay, it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah. And they did it. They did it good, but yeah, it's I think it's PG-13. I mm -hmm. believe so. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but there was just no way. Did that you judge? I... No, I'm gonna watch it tomorrow with my kids. Yeah. See, that's what we did because well, no there was no way my half. kids, my kids have played Five Night Freddy games. There's no way oh, they're not gonna watch it. So we're gonna watch it tomorrow after yeah. we trick or yeah. treat because I missed the downtown Upland trick or treat fair on Saturday because of our show. Yeah. So I gotta make it up tomorrow. So as soon as we pick them up from school, we're Five gonna nights. trick or treat around the neighborhood, and then I already have all the candy. Like I bought them three bags full of a hundred pieces of candy. Is that Tootsie Rolls? No. <laughs> Luckily, I wasn't a dick. We didn't buy any with Tootsie Rolls. <laughs> but my Purposely son can't have peanut butter. I'm testing you. your Reese's theory, though. I'll let you know. We got candy from Walmart, and I did get Reese's peanut butter cups. So I'm looking for some worms. My, my kids did a trunk of treat like the day before the show. And fucking... <laughs> All I saw was like Reese's in their bag, and that was all I can think of, dude. Like, it kind of ruined it for me. I'm like, I bro, I don't even want to fucking try one. Like, yeah. I'll let them try it no, first. No, it's, the, it's <laughs> the parent trick. Like, oh, 
Well, the peanut butter cups are the bad ones. They got worms in them. Give me those. <laughs> My son's allergic to peanut butter, so I have to take it anyway. Uh, so yeah. for us, if we get a bag that has mixed candy, I have, have to go a- in there. Snickers, Reese's, anything that has peanuts, I have to take it because even if he touches the wrapper, he's that sensitive that he'll get... Um, He'll break out in hives and then he'll start to asphyxiate. What about uh, like Butterfinger? Can't. Really? Hmm. Nope. Same thing with my wife. But what's weird is my wife can ingest peanut butter, but she can't touch it. If we go to a Mexican restaurant, we have to ask if it's fried in peanut oil because one chip, Ooh. lips go. Oh, wow. wow. It's bad. My daughter, both my girls are fine, but my son and my wife, no peanuts at all. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, our son, one of our sons has a peanut allergy, so we have to like watch it, but he's... When he was younger, we would go to baseball games, and he, he was never interested in eating the peanuts, but like he would sit there and crack them open for me, you know, and then give me the peanut, you know? And so he would handle it, he never had a problem. The only great reason to have a kid. To crack peanuts? Just, uh, right? sit there, crack these for me. And grab your beers. You well, huh? you grab your beers. <laughs> well, give me a beer. Give My a son beer. had a shellless peanut for the first time on 4th of July, and he didn't realize it was a peanut because we were at a party and they handed him something. Oh, here, have it. Put it in his mouth within like 10, 15 seconds. Throat started to close up. He threw the peanut up, broke out in hives like he panicked. Oh, shit. I was like, okay, now you see, buddy, this is what we mean where you cannot have peanuts. This is exactly what's going to happen. Like, he didn't start crying or nothing, but what was sad was the mom looks at the little boy who gave him the peanuts and goes, way to go, you try to kill him or what? (laughs) <laughs> made the little kid feel bad. Oh, man. Damn, dude. Yeah. Uh, so what do you think? Uh, hot take? Let's go fucking hot takes, hot takes, hot takes. <laughs> who, who wants to take the hot take? You can take this hot take, bro. Go for it. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> I really you don't get do this one you at all. Do? Go for it, bro. <laughs> so hot take. Uh, pandas are overrated. They're lazy and barely seem interested in reproducing to save their own species. What do you think of this? Uh, I mean, it's not it's not wrong. <laughs> I would say I would say that they are pretty lazy. I love just seeing them fall out of trees. There's a lot of videos of them falling out of trees, rolling down a hill. Yeah, fucking rolling. They seem like the clumsiest Eating fucking rich. animal, dude. Yeah, not, I don't know, man. Not procreating. I'd kick it with some pandas, dude. Yeah, I'm good with pandas. Yeah. I think I think uh, I think pandas are just fine. Dude. What are your thoughts on pandas, there, Skullface? Yeah. I think they're all too busy learning kung fu. Uh, it's a kung good fu one. Pandas a great movie, though. That's a good oh, one. Great. Here we go. Yeah, Any it boy is. bands in it? Any boy bands? In it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, bro. Who musically? Who was involved you, with those movies? Jack Black. Well, I know yeah. Jack Black was, but like, yeah. was there any who, who did the songs for it? You know? Every one of those movies I've seen are pretty good. Those uh, kung fu panda oh, yeah. movies. Oh yeah, yeah dude. Was oh, there but, really any songs? Wasn't it just instrumental? I think it was just intermittals. I don't know. That's what I'm like. It's intermittals. Intermittals. It's fucking intermittals. Alpha Draconians, dude. Alpha. Fucking. Valedictorians. Valedictorians. <laughs> Alpha intermittals. There you go. What? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I'm, uh, I remember uh, the uh, World of Warcraft games came out with a uh, panda. Did I game. ride? Uh, no, I think it was actually one of like the species that you could make a character in. Just like a like warrior. A, yeah, I I played it. I think up till like the second, <clears throat> third expansion or something like that. And then when it came to the panda thing, I think it had already fallen off. But uh, I kind of thought that was kind of interesting. They put a panda bear yeah. species what do you think, in there. What do you think about Panda Express? <sighs> <laughs> That's a fucking deep really? ass thought, dude. That's a deep ass thought. What are your thoughts, Skeletor? I, I love it because they have a drive through. That's a good part about it. Uh, Some of them. I get, their, them. I get their walnut shrimp and the fucking orange chicken with the chow mein. Fucking fire. No rice. You probably but, don't put the hot sauce on it, do you? I do. Sriracha? Yeah, sriracha. You bury it? Yeah, dude. So long as it's not the fucking taco man salsa, we're good, bro. Fucking. <laughs> So Asian spice, Asian spice is okay. Asian spice is good, dude. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like uh, I like the orange chicken. Yeah. I like their egg rolls are good. I felt like you really don't like Panda Express, bro. No, I'm like, good with like, it. <laughs> you were uh, like, I don't know, man. You I know, know you're a vegan or not a vegan pescatarian. Pescatarian. Do you grab from there? What do you get? What do you get from there? Anything that's shrimp. Anything that's shrimp. Yeah. Like how they're seasonal and they change the flavors as whatever they have. So yeah. you'll do uh, seafood? Mm-hmm. I eat all types of seafood. Yeah. I just no meat at all. 
That's good. I haven't had meat for 16 years. Damn. Wow. That's crazy, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I'll die if I eat a piece of meat. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, how would you ever work your way back um, to... They told me that I would have to start to. with, like, uh, chicken broth. Okay. And then, like, little pieces of boiled chicken. I couldn't have anything good, basically. Like, if I wanted a steak, you there'd you be no way I could digest right. it. You, you can't go probably. straight to the glizzy, dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> straight, straight to the glizzy. glizzy. I think that's a hot take. Like, I have no interest in eating a hot dog the second you call it a glizzy. <laughs> Don, here, you eat it. I'm over this. All right, guys. We're going to fucking take a break on that note really quick. We'll be right back. What's up, guys? Danny and Mark from The Last Days of War. What's going on? Just wanted to remind you guys that you guys can follow us on all our social media pages. It's we the, got the TikTok and the Instagram and the... Uh, Facebook and threads. Yep. Those are all The Last Days of War. And X is The Last Days of War because the is too long. Uh, check out our merch. That's a great way to support the band. It is in our bios on all of our social media pages. Anything else, Danny? Have a good one. Back to the show. Oh my God! Yes. Who's this guy? Who's this guy? Yes. Oh my God, yes. dude! Who's this guy? I'm so glad you didn't fucking tell us you were doing this. <laughs> oh my God, dude! Yo, yeah. this is what we do. This is how we be. Happy Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> I can't fucking look at you. Dude. Rob couldn't be here, but he told me to give you these. He said you like them. <laughs> Motherfucker, dude. <laughs> um, <laughs> How's everybody doing out there in the TikTok land? <clears throat> I'm Johnny Chico. You got to make names for all these. Johnny Cheeks home? Cheek hole. Cheek hole. Donnie Cheek hole. My cheeks are whole. You know, we're all one place. <laughs> you can go ahead and start the timer. Oh, it's all. We're we're going. I'm ready when you are. Hey, we're back. Uh, what's up, Rob? <laughs> Pit Boss could be here. Johnny Chico's here. We good. That's right, guys. Johnny Cheeks hole. Let's, so let's can... uh, tell us about Johnny Chico. Oh, Johnny Chico. You know, he just uh, getting ready for Halloween. What's he up? What's he up to Halloween? Pixie sticks. <laughs> <laughs> Little that fun dip. You know what I'm saying? You do some pixie sticks and fun dip. Oh yeah. You mixing? Giving it out to all the kids. <laughs> I can't. Look like a fucking '80s drug dealer. That's what we bro. doing? That's what we doing around here? Pixie sticks and. You guys, if you're only listening to this, please do yourself a favor and check it out check on YouTube. Check it out on YouTube. Jesus, dude. <laughs> nah, that up. was a different guy. He's from the other area, you know? Apparently, Rob is uh, Down there not with South us side. anymore. And uh, Johnny Chico? Johnny Chico. Johnny Chico's with us. So Johnny Chico's joining us this evening. Uh, so <laughs> Johnny Chico. Give what do you your, got for us? What you got for us? Why don't, Apparently, why don't, why I got don't, no gold. Why don't we get Johnny Chico to host the podcast? Let's this, go. This one around. One day. One right day. Now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Johnny Chico, what's your topic? What up, guys? Welcome back. What's first on the agenda? Shots. That's Shots. how we do it around <laughs> here. Turn them back. <laughs> Suck them down. Suck them down. Swallow the gravy. <laughs> Fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> so what's what's it what's fucking? Oh wow! <laughs> we just drank liquid dirt, people. He <laughs> ate Dr Pepper. We put Dr Pepper in a shot glass. So fucking gross. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I, I, I can already taste the cancer. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> taste the cancer. I I. It's just like you could feel a stroke coming on. <laughs> Holy shit. That was the best fucking reaction, dude. What the fuck is that? Well, welcome, welcome to the show, everybody. <laughs> welcome um, back to Spike Drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Today's brought to you by Rufalin. <laughs> oh, shit. And we're back. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I'm not going to make it. Oh, fuck, dude. You guys, there was a Hunger Games spinoff, apparently. 
We're only two and a half minutes into this. We're two and a half minutes into the second half here. My face fucks. Holy shit. We're doing this. Pull it together. You watch it together. Fucking Josh is crying. Pull it together. I can't. Oh shit. Johnny Chico over here. Johnny Chico. So we talk about this. There's a new Hunger Games spin off coming out called Fortnite. 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 <laughs> what? The says, ballad of fucking says, Johnny the, Chico, the, dude. The, the ballad of songbirds and snakes. Battle of me, Johnny. bottle and bots. <laughs> so I'm going to be honest. I've never seen a Hunger Games movie. You serious? I have, I've never seen it. I know all the memes, the little fucking this thing, right? The, yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that yeah. Thing, you know I've that? literally farted that melody before. <laughs> That's why my doctor told me to whistle while he's checking my That's prostate. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Give you the two fingers and fucking, yeah. What about two fingers? All right, checking your prostate. Oh, uh, yeah, dude. Told me to whistle. <laughs> <laughs> Told you to whistle? Yeah. Gotta hit them high notes. See, <laughs> test them pipes. Johnny Chico's out of control right now. <laughs> <laughs> We're full, <laughs> full okay, Johnny okay, Chico sure mode. The is still working, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Should we use Johnny Chico to bring us out at the next show? Yes, yeah. Johnny Chico's. I, I'm wondering if Johnny Chico is ever going to show up to sing for us. Oh, probably not. <laughs> probably not. I think after this airs, I'm going to be all wanted on so many uh, social media platforms. They're going to want to see me. On You're going to blow up? Huh? Oh, yeah, they're gonna, I'm going to be a next big MySpace guy. Are you guys fans of the Hunger Games? Are you excited for the spinoff? Where are you going? No, I you've never seen them either. I'm, what about you, Danny? Um, I've seen them, uh, so I'll probably check it out. Um, you know, is it like with the same cast and everything, or is it? Like I don't. A different... From what I saw, I don't believe so. Mm. It looks like a whole kind of new. From so the it's supposed photos. to be a prequel. Is that so what it is? takes be- before it all, I guess. So before. it shows why he gets so evil or what, whatever. You turning into Colonel Sanders right now? Nah, man. You know, I'm just trying to explain the fucking story to you. Foghorn Leghorn. Foghorn Leghorn over here. <laughs> well, I've never seven, seen it. I've never even read the books. Is it anything like bouts. Harry Potter? Yeah, well, you know, it's kind of like that. You know, it's just this this girl. She says, oh, I'm not going to let my sister, you know, go in. I'm going to fuck some shit up. And she goes in there and fuck shit up. Yeah. And like the system is just like, well, now you're going to go fight again. Keep fighting until you die. And she said, fuck this. We're going to do this and that. Now, I guess this is supposed to be before all that, so why fucking... They're doing the Star Wars thing where it's like, hey, no, these were good movies. Now we're going to fucking ruin oh, them. Oh, got, they got money there, right? The Star Wars. There's, there's Star money Wars. sitting there, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. if there's money, if people will go see it, they'll keep making them. Oh, hell yeah. 20 more fucking years, you get the final three, and then they just ruin the whole franchise altogether. It's garbage. Yeah. I think that's my problem with, like, <laughs> superhero movies, is mm-hmm. that there's always the intention of more sequels, so there's never really, like, a fucking definitive ending to anything. Well, settle down, Scorsese. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're fucking coming over here hating on Marvel and DC. Like, What are you, some, what are you, Russo? What are you, a yeah. fucking comic now? You yeah. fucking strip? <laughs> you a joke? Tell me a joke, you comic strip. Enjoy your shot. What shot? <laughs> uh, so other movies coming out in uh, November would be Napoleon. Uh, which it's about, it's about the little dude? Napoleon Bonaparte. Right, it's the sequel I will only to watch it if Hasbala is playing Napoleon, bro. Yeah, That's no, I think game. it's Joaquin Phoenix playing. Uh, I was close. Yeah, who would play who, who would play Hezbollah if they made a Hezbollah movie? If they made a Hezbollah movie, Danny DeVito. Oh, bro, oh, dude! If fucking Danny DeVito played Hezbollah in like the movie Hezbollah, the whatever the, I don't know what it would be called, Hezbollah. <laughs> you know, yeah. I got nothing. What you got? What? <laughs> Danny I, DeVito as Hezbollah is something that I really want to see now. So we're gonna make that happen, folks. Well, he's gonna pay for it though. <laughs> He's picking up that tab. I ain't fucking t- fucking with that. But yeah, so I'm sorry. Who's gonna be the Joaquin Phoenix? Is he? He's playing Napoleon. I believe so. How That's tall crazy. is Joaquin Phoenix? Tall enough. He's. I'm pretty sure. Probably they should have got Tom what... Cruise. I feel like he would have fit. Tom the Cruise part. is pretty small, dude. He's four sure. three, dude. Yeah. He's a small dude. Four three. No, he's not. A little taller than that, maybe, but he's fucking... <laughs> like, a, like a foot and a half or something. That's they all. just put him on a Hot Wheel for fucking... I like that Daddy gun. just accepted it as fact, though. He's like, really? 4'3"? Like, this like, this, this, this doesn't... Hold on, wait a minute. This does not sound right. I'm looking at you. And, yeah. Uh, the Marvels. The, 
I'm looking forward to that. Yeah? Yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. I'm hoping that they start to get back on track and there's some sort of direction for the new Avengers. We'll see what happens. 5'7". Uh, Joaquin Phoenix is 5'7". He's 5'7"? Napoleon? Oh, oh Tom, Tom Cruise, Cruise is 5'7". Five five yeah, dude, that's, that's, a, that's a short dude. How tall are you? How tall are you? I'm 5'10". Fuck you guys, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Just because you guys are both fucking seven foot tall. <laughs> Josh, fair enough, fair enough. how tall are you? Me, five ten. Yeah, we're the same height. Okay. So we're me and Danny. No. Two. Okay. No. I'm six, like six four. Something like that. You're, You're what? Like six twelve. Six twelve and a half. Okay. I'm eighty one inches. <laughs> Fuck, dude. I'm the looking. Marvels. I'm looking forward to the Marvels, though. Really? Yeah, yeah dude. I like uh, Captain Marvel and. Yeah, I don't know. Like this. I like the cat. The cat okay. that turns into the fucking oh. bat. Yeah. I thought you were like saying the cap, like Captain America. No, the cat. <laughs> the cat like, oh. in that whole series is that's, yeah. that's the that's the character for me. You seem okay. you all oh, about the pussy there's a cat, in the movie, huh? there's a yeah. cat and it's like an alien. It turns it's into fucking, like a fucking cool. alien, and it's like Eat it's shit. like a it's almost like hey oh shit we're in big trouble cat. And it turns into this fucking monster. Like then it fucking just wrecks. And then Guardians of the Galaxy has a raccoon. Yes, yeah. correct. Raccoon. Fucking what's his nuts? What's it his also name? has a like tree human. It's got a bunch of shit. If you watch the Groot. third one, yeah. yeah. Vin Diesel voices Groot for some reason. I think that's weird. He said something. The last one I saw, he said something else. He said something at the end of it, didn't he? I love you guys. I, something. Yeah, I think he said like I love you guys. I really want. I said like it would have been like, really funny if you went like Simon Bob with it and just fucking. We're family. 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 <laughs> family. That's funny. I think he did say family. <laughs> I never family. even put the connection to the fucking family beans yeah. from fucking fast. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. Um, so in this moment, uh, new single, new album, new album. Whole yes. new album. Yeah. Whole new album. Uh, so we're looking at a song called The Purge. Yes. Did you guys check it out? I did. And I was, uh, my whole thing was, I didn't realize it was on repeat. And it was like, and I couldn't, and I'd never noticed when the song end or finish. And I was like, man, this song's like fucking 10 minutes long. Like how long is this fucking song? But other than that, once I realized that, I was like, oh, I got uh, flyleaf vibes off of what was going on in that song. That's yeah. what I, that's what I got from it. And that's cool. Yeah. 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 What are your thoughts? Um, to me. I've seen him live, and and if you've ever seen him live, it's it's she's kind of like, seems like she's always like on this kind of like stair pedestal type throne thing, and she's got a couple of like dancers aside her, you mm -hmm. know, and then there's like the guitar player, bass player, and drummer and stuff, and I feel like their music matches up with that show, and and I feel like it's, to me, they they have their realm and they're in it, mm -hmm. and I. I really love what she does on choruses. I'm like a big fan of hearing what she does vocally on choruses. Yeah. And I think um, on that song, she pulls it off where I'm just like, wow, that is a totally different spin on what I would imagine doing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it comes from a totally different fucking land, you know? So she always, she always amazes me when she does the choruses. So I think for me, that's like, that's like the highlight here. What do you think uh, Rick Vaughn... Winkle. Duke and Heimer. <laughs> Chai Chico, man. Chico. Dude, I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember your name. Either, dude. <laughs> no, we were like, friends. What the fuck was that? Rick uh, uh, Van Winkler or whatever? What do you mean? Well, nah, you were five when you were taking my candy. Let's go. Did I take the pixie sticks? Oh, you took all the pixie sticks. All the flavors. I said, give me one of each color and two of the greens. In this uh, moment, bro. In go. this moment. <laughs> you, you heard uh, the song? Yeah. I, <laughs> Excuse me. I'm. I'm starting to hear more of their uh, the writing process as opposed to putting the focus on her this time, but listening more to their um, the way they're arranging songs and putting it together is really well done nowadays. Like, I think there was a period there where it was mostly the focus was her, huh? And it's just like, yeah, no, but it's a band. You're doing right. it for the band. I feel like they've never. I feel like they switched members a lot haven't they with with some of the guitar players and bass player so i feel like it's it's the focal point's always kind of been her she's been the kind of constant am i right about that mm, her and the 
Is what, it guitar player? Okay. They, I, kind I, of been, I don't know their background enough to know that. I, would, I think I they've changed you. out a few people over the years. And like I said, so it makes sense that she's the focal point in that mm. light. I get that, you know? But I'll tell you this many fucking moons ago, in this moment, played a pirate party out in Riverside with us. And that was a great fucking moment mm. because they were uh, set to play. And Mantis was playing that night. You remember Mantis? I remember. Mantis was the band that won that uh, Ozzy Osbourne. No, they came in third. Oh, okay. Who won that? Do you remember? Uh, not off the top of my Anyways, head. there was a Ozzy Osbourne show that was on MTV, and it oh, was like the Osbourne. band thing. Um, 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 like Battle for Ozfest or something. Yeah, there they was were all on these bands Ozfest. That, mm-hmm. They released one record and then got like dropped. I think uh, Johnny Chico and the boys won that one. <laughs> Did Johnny Chico, Chico win that one? Just nah, Chico. it wasn't Giant Chico that year, but <laughs> hear me out. Mantis was set to headline this pirate party, so they roll oh, up. Dozen Furies. That's it. Uh, but Mantis was set to headline this show, so they roll into the vibe in Riverside. You remember this place? Remember Little shithole pub. It was fucking. Was it? Wasn't the stage? Wasn't the stage like set That's like a I dance club? And there was yes. like different platforms. Yeah, now I remember. No. Yeah. It was a little tiny pub it, with like a little tiny corner stage and the sound was just blaring in one half of the room and the other half was set up like a bar. bar. And you could and not see a the single monitor the pointed towards the stage, bro. <laughs> you couldn't fucking hear shit the entire time. We rocked time. the shows there pretty frequently. Yeah. But, so we threw the pirate party there that one year. Mantis rolled in, they backlined and said, play around us. Well, now, right around this same time, in this moment, picked up uh, management by Blasco, who was a bass player for Rob Zombie. He says, tell you what, put Mantis on the phone. Guys, take your shit down. We're going to have a meeting on Monday. All right, go ahead, set up. And it was fucking like, uh oh, these guys are going to be fucking huge. Mm in this moment, ended up fucking playing this party. Nobody really knew who they were, but they're fucking playing for us in this little fucking club, and it's fucking wicked. Oh, that's awesome. That's cool. What about you, Josh? What are your thoughts on the song, or the band in general? <clears throat> I haven't heard the new song, but I was talking to him on the way here because we were checking out um, the new Seven Dust stuff. Oh, okay. What I did hear from in this moment, I preferred the older stuff. Because, like, jokingly, I told him it seems like now it's not that they went poppy, but how you made the reference of they're focused on her and not the music itself. I would be bored being their drummer. Yeah. Like, you kind of, like, seem like you're kind of stuck in a certain pocket. You have to stay where before they were a little harder and heavier. But, I mean, the music still sounds good. My wife likes them. It's just it's more of being in that band after a while would turn into, okay, we get it. Sex appeal. She sells. But. I'm back here too, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Can I have a point? Like, yeah. That's probably why there's <laughs> rotating band members, honestly, if that's what you were saying. Like you know? I said, I believe yeah. that there's been a few kind of member swaps here and there over the years. Yeah. Um, but yeah, maybe that's why you may feel like some of that band element is missing a little bit. Because like yeah. I said, I feel like uh, possibly sh- there's been times where it's, you know, I feel like it's a band that's definitely been focused around her at one point or another. Yeah. You know? Uh, it maybe. went from 5'7 to 5'8. Who's 5'8? Mm. Who's 5'8? Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin Phoenix, guys. 5'8. You're welcome. How tall was Napoleon? How tall was Napoleon? Let's get this straight. How tall is Hasbullah? Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's, let's get a let's list. Go down let's the get list. a list going. And uh, while, get... while she's pulling up those heights, Josh, you guys, you were saying you were listening to the new Seven Dust. What are your thoughts on that? Uh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, being honest, if you skip the first track, uh, it's pretty good. Oh, yeah. uh, we got through about four or five songs on the way here. Uh, mixing is good as usual. Drums sound good. Um, if you like Seven Dust, you're going to like the album. Like Some of the songs are still a little heavy. I just don't understand the first song. Uh, like it, It's not registering to me. I, I didn't understand the choice in that being the first song. Yeah, like, I guess that's... <clears> not on like a band weird. that's a heavier But band. you know what, though? Like The more I think about it, that track... <laughs> kind of stands out more to me now because, because it, it's the rest way. of them sound just like what Seven Dust sounds like. Oh, yeah, it's totally and Seven it's just, Dust. Yeah. Uh, it's Seven Dust, but that mm-hmm. track 
stands out because it's so fucking different now. Like thinking about it, you're like, I wouldn't open with it, granted, mm -hmm. but it's still like, oh, all right. I see what you're doing here, I'm trying to mix it up, modernize it. I like it. Maybe not the opening track. Yeah, like I said, I kind of I kind of felt like, you know, a lot of their albums have really started out with, you know, their kind of signature or heavier thing going on and uh yeah. So yeah. I you know full. I, I've seen Seven Dust live a few times. I've always like enjoyed seeing them. They've they have they've never been like that band that I'm like, you know, oh my god about. But um like I said, I've seen them live a few times. They're great. I love them, they're awesome. Um, but yeah, I didn't really understand the choice of the first song on that one. Uh, um, so I, I don't listen to a lot of Seven Dust, but everything that I've ever heard from them, I've enjoyed, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, it's one of the bands, uh, that for some reason, a lot of people compare us to. Oh yeah? Yeah. Whenever we, whenever I ask questions of like, oh, who do you guys think we sound like? Or who do you think we play with? We get Seven Dust a lot. So I think that that's interesting. It's always interesting to see people's response to that because it's obviously it's all based on what you listen to, right? What mm -hmm. you're going to think something sounds like. So, but yeah, um, I really enjoyed that single. I, what's the name of it? Every, everything? Everything. Yeah. Yeah. That's a fucking great radio hook friendly chorus. Fucking hard hitting. I, I, I dug it. It's cool. Yeah. 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 Um, Hasbala is 3-4, by the way, guys. And that, that's, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> so, wait, we're saying Napoleon was 5'6". Napoleon's 5'6". Phoenix was 5'7". Tom Cruise was 5'7". Five, five, okay, so he's not. He wasn't so he's much not taller. Far, I don't think they're going to have to make, like, big drastic... CGI him yeah, fucking... <laughs> too like, too like, you know, Lord of the Rings where it's fucking, you know, they do that whole deal. Like, yeah. it doesn't seem like they'll do that. It's way worse than the Snow White movie. Did you see that? No. Oh, you hear what happened with that? You hear, you hear what happened with this? We talk about the new one that they're going to do. The, the, they're doing a new Snow White movie, and they're, they weren't going to use any, like, little people for the dwarves. They were, gonna, they were, like, they were CGIing regular people for it. And, like, no, they already did that. No, it's coming out soon. They already did that. They probably did, but there's another one coming out soon. Another one? Yeah, because I because uh like fucking Brad Williams and uh Wee Man and like they're all like, dude, like we have no pun intended, we have very little jobs out there. <laughs> like fucking but uh like uh and, and and they're taking them away from us, you know? And then they took our jobs. They took fucking, our jobs. <laughs> fucking they took our jobs. And uh I guess the backlash behind it, they're they're they didn't win anyways because now they're just CGIing the dwarves like completely. So <laughs> they just don't want to do it. Huh? <laughs> they're just, they're, they're just, they're just, like, just no. going to be CGI, dude. No, nah, we're just CGI. Yeah, dude. Well, what do you think wow. about that, huh? So Disney, huh? Disney. So bro. it's going to be like a Who Framed Roger Rabbit where it's like real life and. Yes. And yeah. Just like that. Dude, Who Framed Roger Rabbit's a dope ass movie. So it's not live action? I mean, what do you consider live action? When they see, like, because like, now they were like, oh, The Lion King live action. When it was kind of just like, okay, animals with CGI faces, you know? <laughs> it's like. I hate this is one. Disney, right? Yeah, the Disney yeah. ones. Yeah. 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 The Jungle Book one I really loved, though. Did so you see that one? That was, that was with better. The, that yeah. was with The Rock, right? No. Jungle Book? Jungle Book? The Jungle Book. That's the oh, jungle. I thought jungle you said the Jungle. Book. Book. Okay, Jungle Cruise. Jungle, jungle Cruise, Cruise yeah. Ju I never saw that. Yeah, imagine The Rock as Mowgli, dude. <laughs> So I was trying to figure out. I don't. Oh, Bill Murray <laughs> the franchise. Bill Murray's in the Jungle Book, uh, and uh, Christopher yeah. Walken Christopher does the Walken. voice of King Louis. Yeah, he like sings in it. Uh, yeah, Bill Murray's movie. Baloo. Yeah, that's a good movie. Uh, that one I enjoyed way more than the live action Lion King. Yeah, thought it'd be fun to do a little casting thing really quick. All right, let's recast Star Wars with wrestling people. What? Like if you were to cast recast Star Wars with wrestlers, like let's go, Obi Wan Kenobi, Ric Flair. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That I have Ric Flair Woo! play. Right? Woo! Yeah. So so yeah. like pick a character, recast him with a wrestler. Whatever wrestlers you're aware of, whether it's 80s, it don't matter, dude. It don't matter. What do you think? A funny casting would be R two D two, Rey Mysterio, bro. Fucking. <laughs> 
Because of the whistle? Because <laughs> of the whistle. <laughs> <laughs> who, would, who would be... I was thinking uh, more because of the height, but the whistle works too. The whistle too? too? <laughs> who would be Chewbacca? Ooh, that's a good one. Who would be Chewbacca? Um, who would be Chewie? Ted DiBiase. Ted DiBiase? The blonde oh. hair. Uh, Kevin Nash. Oh, there you go. Kevin Nash. Oh, he was a sense. super shredder oh. in Teenage Mutant no. Ninja Turtles. I would do Shawn Michaels as Luke Skywalker. We got a... Darth Vader as the uh, Undertaker as Darth Vader. That's a great one. That's oh, really cool. Yeah. Uh, Razor Ramon as Han Solo. <laughs> what? I can see it. I can see with it. the toothpick too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, with total with hey, the Yo, thing. Chico. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You know. Hey, Chewie, we're home. Fucking throw the toothpick. Something happened to these droids. Something going to happen, happen to, to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, Princess Leia. Did you did you cast her? No. Uh, who we cast? Miss Elizabeth, dude. Was Shawn Michaels? Shawn Michaels, you have as Luke, the as twin Luke? sister. <laughs> it's a little weird. Then I guess Triple H. I don't know, bro. What the fuck? You want to have Triple H be fucking There's... Princess Leia? <laughs> Huh. You hear that Triple H? <laughs> you hear that Triple H, bro? You're going to be Princess Leia. He's hey, like, man. but I wanted to be Han. Can we get Johnny Chico in here? Can we get Johnny, Johnny Chico, Chico in that dude? Uh, I play uh, Yoda. Yoda. <laughs> Jar Jar. I don't know. <laughs> Jar Jar. <laughs> Jar, Jar. Well, I was actually uh, working with Jar Jar on set, you know, helping him out. <laughs> <laughs> helping him out catch his lines. You know what I'm saying? He's doing his lines. Catching. <laughs> Catching his lines for him. You know, you know, helping him out. You know what I'm saying? So you're yeah. saying Jar Jar was on, uh, you know? I blame yeah. that all on Mark. Yeah. I, I know yeah. that I just kind of dropped day. that on us right now, but like, I think it would be cool to do in a future episode where we pick a movie to recast with, with different people. I think that that'd be fun. Or yeah. us in the roles. That's what I thought you were going to go, go with. Oh, okay. Cast us in Star Wars. You go. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, we already know what I'm getting, fucking. Chewbacca. Yeah. Go. <laughs> If if this is ever a gimme, this is my gimme. Go, you guys. Chewbacca. Yeah, I don't have a say in this. What would you pick? For you? No, for you, pal. For me? We already oh, know what me. I am, and we already know what you're going to be. I don't know. What Mexican was in Star Wars? <laughs> Princess Leia. <laughs> Princess Leia, eh? Fucking Chewie, eh? I don't know, man. I'd, I'd probably be a droid somewhere, bro, in the back. You know what I'm saying? R2D2? R2D2. <laughs> Talking in whistles and shit, bro. Yeah. What, what about you? you? You cast yourself. Go. Princess Leia. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no underwear. There was no underwear in space. Princess Leia. Was there no underwear in space? No underwear. You didn't see that skit that she did? <laughs> that was at an awards assembly? <clears throat> yeah. She was making fun of the newer movies with the queen where she has all these different outfits and then George Lucas told her that there was no underwear in space and she had to wear that fucking outfit and she was all pissed. He, D Danny just gave you the coolest casting, by the way. He said you'd be Boba Fett. Yeah. And that's fucking cool. Yeah. I could see it. Who would you cast yourself as, though, Josh? I never thought about it. Probably... He's all Boba, Boba Fett. Fett. <laughs> <laughs> Probably Lando Boba Fett. Calrissian. Lando Calrissian. <laughs> Lando. That would be Johnny Chico. Johnny, Johnny Chico. Chico. Yeah. Lando Calrissian. Calrissian. I, you know, what's my buddy made of stone? Yeah, me too. I'd like that as a coffee table. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dude, look good, pal. Look good. Johnny Chico taking care of the lines in Star Wars. <laughs> Doing coke lines off your pal. Frozen in carbonite, you know? You brought all the where did you night. did you just have this in your backpack? What did you? Where did you? Where did you, you, yeah, did you get this? You went to the right? restroom as a skeleton and came back as Johnny Chico. <laughs> that was underneath the whole time. The whole that was underneath the mask. Time. The whole time. Full head of hair and all, you know. <laughs> Bro, that would have been impressive if you would have popped off that mask and that hair was on the whole time. Oh, dude. it's luscious. I grew it. <laughs> Fucking grew it. That's why I had to wear a mask at the show. It was only halfway. My roots was coming in pretty strong. I wasn't, I wasn't too proud of this. So what do we got? We got another. We got anything else? Are we wrapping take? it up? We got hot take. Oh, we got a hot take, right? Yeah, hot takes. What do you want to do? What do we got? Uh, hot, do we have a hot take? Crocs. It was pandas. We did the panda. Oh yeah, Crocs, bro. Oh, this one. Which hot, one are we doing? Hot takes. Hot takes. Hot takes. Hot takes. Hot takes. 
Wait, is this uh, award oh. shows? Oh, this is a good one. We could do both. Let's do both. Well, the other, we'll, 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 yeah, we'll say, we'll do this Okay, one. we'll do this one. Yeah. Award shows are completely out of touch and meaningless. How do you feel about that? I, yes. I agree. I, I yes. don't, yeah, I think that uh, award shows are completely out of touch with, uh, it's just a whole fucking group of people slapping themselves on the back. That's you know, like group yeah. of fucking. Yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty much what it is. It's like you won, cool. Let's go back to our pen. Fuck, <laughs> just like. All right, Johnny Chico wins a Grammy. Get a speech. Go. Fucking why? <laughs> I guess I'm just, just, why? Why? <laughs> fucking what did I do? I just went up there and fucking did my thing. That's what I get paid to do. Just like every other guy goes out there and does his fucking thing. You need an award. No. Where'd you get the flamingo shirt? Yeah. What are you talking I wanna about? know. I wanna know where, where Johnny Chico shops. Oh, you just go down to Hanks, he's got the fucking uh, two for five, you know what I'm saying? Hanks? You pick him up off the rack, the fucking right there on the beach. You know what I'm saying? The boardwalk. He sells shirts and Philly cheesesteaks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> right down the street. <laughs> Best Philly. You know what I'm saying? You know where the fuck you get it. You know where the fuck you get it. This is Venice Beach. Walk it down a bit. Uh, just watch out for that dude, Ted. He's on the skateboard, no legs. <laughs> Fucking pickpocket you like that. Watch get right shit. in there. Watch your shit. Watch your shit. I still oh, keep so my shit on the chase. No legs. You seen the movie Kids? <laughs> he said there's a dude on the skateboard with no legs in there. I, no I, no I have no legs. I have no legs. I have no legs. I have no legs. I remember that. That's a fucking, that's a fucking throwback, you guys. Well, no, but award shows, fuck that. You know, it's just a whole bunch of ego stroking, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Popularity dude. contest bullshit. Battle of the bands. Hey, you won. You sold the most tickets. You blew the most executives or whatever the fucking Kevin Spacey hit it up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you just... Hey, cool, you won. Well, but it's just like, how do you get to that conclusion? Like, hey, he's the, that's the best fucking movie. It's all apples and oranges. That Josh, his. how do you feel about reward shows? I agree with you that it's all blown out of proportion. Like even like, Ricky Gervais. Nobody cares. When he did that. Oh, fucking, yeah. He, he was like, I don't give a fuck. This is the last out. one. It was just kind of like, we don't really fucking need these anymore. Egotistical... Half of them are fucking male chauvinistic fucking bits and they just tear apart other people's work and hell, people getting slapped in the face and assaulted during some of this shit. And that's just the BET Awards. You guys, this has been the last day's award cast. <laughs> <laughs> Please check out all of our shit. Link in the bio, buy something. Help out, support the band, support the podcast. We appreciate you, we love you. Catch you on the next one. Johnny Chico out. <laughs>